I learned that you cannot judge a book by its cover. You cannot look at somebody and think that they're not suffering internally. You cannot do it. Please don't, and I don't want nobody to do that to you. Stay tuned. My name is Cyrus Asar, and my mission is to embody the emotion of overcoming. I believe we all fight battles we hide from the world. My objective is to help you win those battles through perspective. Stay tuned. I learned that you cannot judge a book by its cover. You cannot look at somebody and think, oh, they never been through anything because you can look at them and be like, oh, they got a nice car. They always smiling. They get all the girls or whatever it be. Whatever you think is good and they have it in abundance, don't think that they're not suffering as well. I don't want you to think that you're the only one going through what you're going through because there is a lot of people. Some people just mask it differently. Some people just hit the gym and now they all buff and they smiling and they go work out eight hours a day. They still got, they got things that they do that it looks beneficial behind. Let's just say somebody is dealing with some internal trauma. So they take it out in the gym and they go into the gym six hours every day because they this is the way they deal with the fact that they were abused as a child. What comes out of that is aesthetically pleasing. They look really good. They chiseled. They got, you know, whether it's a woman, they got the thighs, they got everything. They look chiseled. And the fact that they got that, they look very good. They went through that internal suffering as a child or whatever it may be, and they just went to the gym as an outlet. That outlet led to that look. That doesn't mean that they're not suffering with it. So when you judging them and saying, you know, that person just, yeah, I wish they, they don't got to go through nothing. I wish I can be that person. You don't know what you wishing. It's somebody that is saying they wish they could have what you have. And you're going to be like, man, you don't know what I'm dealing with over here. You don't want to wish to have my life. Trust me, you don't want to be like me. You want to be better than me. That's what real people say. They be like, man, you don't want to be like me. You want to be better than me. You don't understand what I'm going through. You don't know half of it because you see me smiling on Monday don't mean you're going to see me smiling on Tuesday. So I just want to tell people that like just because something looks good on the outside does not mean it's good on the inside. I've seen that when I went to the grocery store. I threw apples in my, you know, container, you know, threw apples in my cart. And I got home and then I got an apple and it felt firm and then I cut into it and it was brown all in the inside. I was like, dang, man, I thought this was a good apple. People are going through that same thing where you, if you cut them open and you looked at their insides, you would see, man, it's trauma, abuse, molestation, rape, whatever it may be. And just because they're showing themselves in a certain way does not mean that they have dealt with that brown spot deep inside of them. You understand? So once again, as I wouldn't want somebody to judge you because you smile one day, they think you got your whole life together and everything is smooth and you just do this, do this, and then they, they're willing to fling harmful things at you because they think that your life is all good. I wouldn't want nobody to do that to you and I don't want you to do that to nobody else because I've learned that it could be the straw. One sentence can be the straw to break a camel's back. It can be one thing that I've said that just takes somebody over the top. They're like, I'm really trying to live my life best as possible. And everybody keep adding something to it. So don't be that person that's going to add something to somebody's life in a negative light. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I have a program called Trauma Transparency that you can get in the description box below where I open up about my deepest things to help you overcome some of your deepest things. You can also reach out to me on social media, which is also in the description box below. Thank you.